So I have a very extreme personality. Either I'm all in or I don't do it at all. And although it helps with the good habits such as doing YouTube, business, and coding, it also impacts the bad habits. And over the past few months, I've developed some really bad habits such as scrolling on social media for hours, checking notifications on my phone, doing the dirty work on that dirty website, and eating a lot of junk food. And so what I've been doing over the past few days and what I will be doing for hopefully the rest of my life is a dopamine detox and i made a video describing dopamine detox so i'll leave that somewhere and like a quick summary of what a dopamine detox is is in our brains we have something called dopamine dopamine is like this motivation like neural thing in your brain that gets you to do things like you know that feeling you get when you're motivated and you feel good that's probably dopamine or when you accomplish something like let's say you got a really high score in a game or you got the highest grade in class you get this like really good feeling you're in like a good mood that's dopamine now you're probably saying nazar okay so dopamine is a good thing. Why are you detoxing from it? Like, why are you stopping a lot of those habits? Well, the dopamine source actually matters. And as a result of me always checking notifications, scrolling on TikTok, watching TikToks with like two screens, you know, like car or like the GTA while someone else is talking over top of it. Those things are so stimulating, like the videos, the checking notifications, that doing basic things like coding and reading and stuff like that is very difficult. So think of it like this, right? Anyone can eat a broccoli on its own, right? Like, let's say I got a plate of broccoli right now and I told you to eat it. You could probably eat it and you would, you know, not mind it. However, if I brought you a cheeseburger first, you ate that delicious juicy cheeseburger and then I gave you the broccoli. Scientifically, this is an actual study. You would dislike the broccoli even more. Like you would have this worse approach to it and you would not want to eat it even more because you ate the cheeseburger first. And the goal is to remove the cheeseburger, aka the bad habits in replacement of doing the good habits that will push us further. And so the full schedule of how I'm gonna do this dopamine detox this is literally everything I'm doing right now is that I am fasting until 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. Now this is just a personal thing. I don't know if there's actual like scientific proof that you're better at coding from fasting, but I personally prefer it. I am much more alert and much more focused when I'm coding, so I'm gonna fast. I'm also gonna remove social media. Now this is gonna be a little bit difficult because I am on social media and I post on all these platforms, but I'll try my best to limit the scrolling and just use social media to post. Because right now I'm spending like three hours on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, like all combined, just needlessly scrolling. When it, whereas I could just replace that with something else, which I should get into. And so I'm limiting social media as much as possible. And I'm also going to meditate for 10 minutes every day. Now, meditation has this bad rap because everyone talks about it, but it actually works. And for me, when I was in my lowest point with my mental health and OCD, I meditated every day for like 30 minutes. And I believe that's what helped me get out of my anxiety disorder and kind of be normal again. So I'm going to get back on meditating so that, you know, I could focus on my breath, be present so that I could code better and just you know, be alert of what's going on in the world. And finally, I'll try my best to have a good night routine where I'm not on my phone as much as night and I go to bed a little early, maybe like 10 or 11 p.m. Now I've been using this routine thing for like five days now. And so far I have felt freaking amazing. I've never coded better and I just feel great. Like right now I haven't eaten a thing, but I just feel like I want to do difficult tasks. I'm also way happier, like because of the meditation so far, I'm much more present with you and with my family and everything. So it just feels great. And so quickly, before you leave this video, if you wanna get started in this sort of dopamine spot, and if you're like a coder and you wanna get into dopamine detox and do it for the sake of, you know, being a better programmer and making more money, try your best not to completely copy someone else's detox because this is a personal journey. And you know, some people right now are telling me, Nizar, you're not doing enough or you know, you should be meditating 20 or 30 minutes a day. I am doing this for the long term. I want to do these habits, the ones I just talked about, for the rest of my life. And I don't really see the point in doing something if you're not going to do it for a long period of time. So this is just something I want to do for the rest of my life. Maybe I'll do more or less in the future. Set your own. Maybe you, maybe you feel like mine is the best one, so you, you, you like it the most. So do go ahead. But all I'm saying is you can kind of shape it into how you like so it fits your life, fits your schedule. But yeah, I, I feel much better now. I'm coding a lot better again. It's, it's, it's a really powerful thing dopamine detox you know in a world filled with distractions focus and allowing yourself to just be present is such a superpower and advantage over many people you know because everyone's always on their phones checking notifications they're not allowing themselves to focus and it's a real powerful thing to have today but yeah 
Good luck on your dopamine detox. I'll try to do these more often, maybe make some updates on this, but this is what's been working so far and you know, I've, I've been loving the results. And by the way, we have the best coding community on here. Like I can't think of a single YouTuber that has a community like this. We have like the Discord and even on here on YouTube, we just have such a tight knit community that really cares about each other. So if you haven't already, go and join the community, then subscribe and join the Discord. Like I'm telling you, it's the best. We have people that like are giving each other jobs, you know, they're building projects together and we have just such a helpful community. Happy coding. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.